All right, everyone, welcome back. I do apologize if this video is a little late. I, as some of you will know, I did make a community post. My wisdom teeth were really, really hurting over the past week or so, so it was very hard to talk. So if I apologize, or I apologize if I, you can already tell it's affecting me. <laughs> you can already tell I'm already having trouble speaking. Yeah, if I just sound really low energy in this video or don't have the same kind of upbeat, it's just because I am really not feeling that great. My wisdom teeth have really been hurting and it's caused a lot of sleeping issues for me and just it's been very, very difficult to uh, just have any energy, as you can tell. <laughs> I'm struggling to even talk right now. I can't even get, get out what I'm trying to say. Before we get started today, I did actually want to do something with my armor real quick. So let's see if we can find a smithing table and get ourselves some nice new colors. Now, if I am not mistaken, there should be one in there. And there it is. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so I believe... I believe we do it like this here. Okay, that goes there. Goes there, and that goes there. Oh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. See how that looks. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. You know I had to go with the Doc M redstone netherite armor. I think it looks sweet. Anyways, let's get started with today's episode. I want to walk you guys over here. So I haven't worked on the city in quite a while. So I think what we're going to be doing today is just working on a lot of these buildings. And I really just wanted to kind of finish this street and uh, kind of make something over here as well. I wanted to show you guys what I've been working on while I've been away. So if we fly over here to the laboratory, you can see I actually cleared out this whole room. I don't even know if a lot of you guys know that this is here, but I have been making this lab for quite some time now. Um, and I've just kind of been like laying out the foundations of what I think it's going to look like. It's going to be much, much bigger than this. Lots of hallways, lots of different rooms, but I haven't worked over here in forever. So this was a nice little project for me while, uh, I wasn't feeling so great. I could just dig without having to worry about doing much, but we're going to need a lot of these blocks because I think we are going to be building in the city today and making some nice buildings. So let's get ourselves situated. And if you'll know, you can't really see it all that well <laughs> from right here, but we did build this ship in the last episode. So if you guys missed that, please be sure to check that out. We had a lot of fun building that one. All right, let's take a look around here. I don't even remember what I did last time with all these buildings. I remember I wanted to finish this over here. We never got around to that. But of course, um, I know it looks a little strange because there's nothing behind them. But uh, we do need to at least finish uh, the rest of this over here. And there's some sort of walkway over here that looks like I was planning. <laughs> and we've got this nice little plot of land. So I think what I'm going to do in this following clip is kind of just finish uh, maybe two buildings right here. So maybe one building will go to extend about right here. And then we'll have a nice corner building. I still got to fill all this in over here, I just realized. And then... Um, I was thinking that we could just kind of have buildings line this wall right here so that when you're walking down the street, you're kind of just looking at buildings and then the skyscrapers will all be over in this area. So I think I'm just going to build a ton of buildings and I'll kind of cut in here and there and explain what's going on. But anyways, I think that's a good place to start. So let's get to work.
All right, so there it is. Those are our first finished buildings on this side right here. I think it's going to look really cool from down the street as well. Just having this road more filled up with buildings. Oh, look at that. That looks so cool. And I especially love the variation of color. We'll uh, go in detail in a second here, but I just wanted to take a look at that. That's a nice little street that we are forming down here. Of course, we're going to cover up all this uh, little empty space that there is up top. But I'm really liking how this is turning out. This is pretty nice. And I just really enjoy the uh, color palette we used on this one. This is I tried like a different style this time around. And so, uh, yeah, we obviously have this brick building here. We got birch buttons, polished granite with uh, terracotta in there, some flower pots. Tried out the copper trap doors for a little flower pot holder. Stone walls, stairs, just trying to make it look busy. Uh, here I tried something a little different. I used chiseled bookshelves and looms on the outside to make it, I don't know, just add some more interesting blocks. I don't know if I love it, but we'll keep it there for now. Um, but I really do like this dark green and spruce combination we have going on here. And then for the corner building, like I said I was going to do, I actually did something really cool. I love how this turned out. I used walls instead of blocks, and I connected those to glass panes. And you can see it actually like flattens the side of the wall. So this looks like a really, um, really cool like New York style building where they have that, that type of stuff in there. So I thought it was pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, it's just a really cool looking building and kind of a cool little... Uh, technique that I use there so I wanted to show that off so yeah I'm happy with this street I think this is pretty sick so now we just got to make a few more for this side and then design something to sit in here um, and yeah it's gonna look pretty sick so coming along nicely I'm having a lot of fun these are some nice buildings let's get back to work All right, well, today we did a lot of work. This is all finished up now. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I think it's actually quite nice. I think this could use a little bit more. You know what? I might do something really quick here. All right, I think that is much better. I just really wanted to add some buttons to these buildings. I feel like the buttons, they kind of are just like that little completionist little, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. I just really like buttons on buildings. But anyways, this is uh, basically what we got figured out. So I know a few people will say, well, moon glow, there's no backs to the buildings. And well, that is done intentionally, right? The reason they are not uh, completed yet is because, of course, if we go back here, you can see there is a wall here. And on this one, we actually started a, a stone wall as well. So all of these buildings will be... Um, basically sectioned off every time there's a difference in the walls. So right here, and so we can do basically what a real city does where they have like stone walls or brick walls separating the buildings inside. And so I thought that was um, a pretty cool thing to do here in this city. And so that's why none of them have the backs yet is because we're going to do what we did there with those stone walls in between all of them. And then we'll make the interior and maybe that'll be, a video where we do like all the interiors in one day but as we go uh over to this side let's see what it looks like as we walk from this direction this is what i've been waiting for all day if we walk around this corner here there we go that is a completed city street i absolutely love that obviously added that building at the end there to kind of cover up this whole view we have and this is exactly what I was going for, just a European style city, something very calm, very nice, uh, very quaint, I guess is a, a good word for it as well. I made like this little telephone 
booth thing. I feel like that kind of looks like that. Looks pretty cool. We got to finish this street over here. And of course, I'm just going to keep adding buildings as time goes on. And then we'll have uh, the skyscrapers over in this direction. Maybe we'll do that in the next couple of episodes. But yeah, out of all the buildings, I think this one is my favorite, to be honest with you. I just love this wall and glass pane technique. I feel like that looks really cool. This green building is very nice. The looms on the outside are uh, quite interesting. And this one I just tried to make look very busy. So I just added like these fence gates with the trap doors on top buttons this thing's kind of like an air conditioning unit <laughs> this uh, chiseled copper block the trap doors and then uh yeah the the color palette for this one we'll go through all of them color palette for this one was andesite polished granite granite and terracotta i feel like those worked really well together and then i used some gray stained glass in there which i feel looks pretty nice with the spruce trim on the top and uh, of course the flower holders with copper trap doors and oak trap doors. I wanted to do uh, a little bit of a different thing there to kind of like separate the two. And then we obviously have the copper grates as like little middle windows. On this building over here, I tried something different. I tried to mix endstone and sandstone together with some birch wood. I feel like those are similar colors. Uh, I feel like I, I could have done it a little better, but it's 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 okay. It's not my favorite out of the ones I built today. And then I use the um, mangrove wood up top because it has that really nice red. So that's like a great contrast up there. And then we have deep slate bricks to be the roof trim up at the top. Then we have uh, this green building. This is a very Dallas Med style building. That's where my inspiration came from, from this one, from his... Uh, his main house that he has in his let's play so we have the spruce wood with the dark oak and of course the uh green concrete and then i use the uh the looms and the chisel bookshel bookshelves on the outside to uh just kind of act like some interesting blocks i don't know maybe they're air conditioning units some sort of <laughs> system there and then we have uh this stone one right here this is like my favorite one out of everything because of this polished tuff with the walls and the gray stained glass. I just feel like that looks really nice. And then we have deep slate bricks to kind of break up that whole gray texture because obviously if we used all of this gray, that would kind of be a lot. So I wanted to use a different block to kind of separate that color. And then I kind of replicated the same thing over here, but with full blocks and different colors. So I used uh, the terracotta granite and polished granite with some stone and uh, polished andesite on the bottom, as well as black stained glass for this one, and just kind of remade that corner shape right there and there. So we have some nice corner buildings. And then this one, uh, I just really wanted to make a white <laughs> kind of building here. And so uh, this is not gonna be a cube. There's gonna be buildings that cover this whole street here as well. And so I just wanted to make the face of it so that um, we had something to look at at the end of the street. So now we have uh, basically a whole European city street here. I would like to fix this up. I think I'm going to continue the side of this building actually. And then we'll just make this like a back alleyway and put something over there. Maybe some buildings up the side of the hill could be cool. So there's like elevation in the city and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's basically the city so far. So I think that's going to be it for today's episode. There is one more thing I'd like to do, which is get... Uh, our donator Owen, his villager, and I think I'm going to put you in the industrial shop. So uh, we're going to have to make an adjustment here, which is uh, close this garage door. Uh, but let's get Owen Rimbo in the shop here because he donated the last episode and I said that I would get that done for him. All right, and hopefully he takes that anvil, or not the anvil, the grindstone. Okay, and Owen Rimbo, you are now the shop keeper and it looks like he has excellent okay so one thing we got to do though is of course replace the doors so replace those and uh that's got to get closed off because we already know somebody's gonna get in there so let's just do that so now his garage doors are closed and there he is all right owen rimbo this is your new home you are the man who runs the industrial shop there you are. Okay, very nice. Okay, let's of course answer our comment of the day. And you know what? I actually want to answer it from the ship that we built. So why don't we fly up there?
All right, today's comment of the day comes from Efry not available 721 7021. There we go. Can you tell that I have just been out of it for the past couple of days? I can't read, talk. Oh, I just I feel like such crap right now. Anyways, um they say also, how would you describe your style? Obviously, you have a few different styles kind of put together, fantasy, Mediterranean. I hope I spelled that right. But overall, would you say that you have one style? I thought this was an interesting comment because if I uh, go over to the edge here, you can see we've got lots of uh, different builds. That one doesn't really make any sense whatsoever. I don't know what that style would be. Uh, then we obviously have a more realistic build here with the cottage. Then we have this uh, Mediterranean one with the farm, which is what they were talking about. And then my house is kind of just like a whole jumbled mess. But I would say if I had to like really pinpoint my style and what I would label it as, I definitely think I enjoy the fantasy stuff the most. So like this boat here and uh, this floating ship that we're on. But I wouldn't say that's like my number one style. Obviously, we have like the more modern city and this weird modern house here and all that. So I just like to have a variety of different things. But I would say what I'm the best at is probably the fantasy stuff. I feel like I um, spend the most time with that style of thing. And that's just kind of the way I think when it comes to Minecraft. I feel like I'm playing the game in a fantasy way. And I just... I don't know, I just kind of like picture fantasy things with this game. I don't really see it as more of a modern game, but I do find it fun to build modern stuff, which is why we're building the city over there and all, all that kind of thing is because that's the beauty of Minecraft. You can turn it into whatever you want it to be. So uh, yeah, I would say my style is mostly fantasy. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you have any suggestions for the city or just build suggestions in general, please be sure to let me know because I'm running a little dry on inspiration currently. I was finding it very hard to come up with some ideas. So anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Please be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already because we are almost at 5,000. And of course, we are doing a world download at 5,000 subscribers. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye-bye.